What's up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA Security Plus 601 certification exam. So let's get into it. In this video, you're going to learn about enterprise environment security concepts such as geographical considerations, response and recovery controls, security sockets layer, transport layer security inspections, hashing, and API considerations. Let's talk about geographical considerations, and these are considerations that affect the laws and regulations that have been created to address data privacy and digital rights management. And the first type of consideration is data privacy, and this is the relationship between the collection and dissemination of data, technology, the public expectation of privacy, and the legal and political issues that surround them. Data privacy can be challenging since it attempts to use data while protecting an individual's privacy preferences and personally identifiable information. And the fields of computer security, data security, and information security all design and use software, hardware, and human resources to address this issue. And then we have digital rights management. So DRM, this is the management of legal access to digital content and various tools or technological protection measures such as access control technologies can restrict the use of proprietary hardware and copyrighted works. DRM technologies are the use, modification, and distribution of copyrighted works such as software and multimedia content, as well as systems that enforce these policies within devices. Next, we have response and recovery controls. So response and recovery controls are plans that you must have in place in the unfortunate event of a data breach, including the assembly of a team of experts within an organization, as well as legal counsel. And part of response and recovery controls is using a data forensics team to help determine the source and scope of the breach, in addition to collecting and analyzing evidence to outline remediation steps. Next is secure sockets layer transport layer inspection. So secure sockets layer inspection. This is the older version of what is now known as transport layer security inspection or TLSI. And TLSI, this is a security process that allows organizations to decrypt traffic, inspect the decrypted content for threats, and then re-encrypt the traffic before it enters or leaves the network. So in layman's terms, you could think of TLSI as the Transportation Security Administration working at an airport that inspects the contents of your luggage before you board an airplane. Next is hashing, and this is an algorithm performed on data such as a file or message to produce a number called a hash, which is also sometimes called a checksum. And the hash is used to verify that data is not modified, tampered with, or corrupted. In other words, hashing allows for you to verify that the data has maintained its integrity. Hashing is used in digital signatures, file and message authentication, and as a way to protect the integrity of sensitive data, such as data Data being entered into databases or perhaps entire hard drives. And then we have API consideration. So an API or an application program interface, this is a connection between computers or between computer programs. It is a type of software interface offering a service to other pieces of software. In contrast to a user interface, which connects a computer to a person, an API connects computers or pieces of software to each other. It is not intended to be used directly by a person or the end user other than a computer programmer who is incorporating it into its software. And here are some considerations concerning APIs that you need to know about. So you need to secure API services to only provide HTTPS endpoints with a strong version of TLS. You need to validate parameters in the application and sanitize incoming data from API clients. You need to explicitly scan for common attack signatures. You need to use strong authentication and authorization standards. You need to use reputable and standard libraries to create the APIs. 
ways. You want to segment API implementation and API security into distinct tiers and doing so frees up the API developer to focus completely on the application domain. You want to identify what data should be publicly available and what is sensitive information. If possible, you want to have a security expert do the API code verification. You want to make internal API documentation mandatory and you want to avoid discussing company API development or any other application development on public forums. All right, so that was my quick little class on enterprise environment security concepts where we talked about things such as geographical considerations, response and recovery controls, SSL, TLS inspections, hashing, and API considerations. Now, if you felt like you've gotten something valuable out of this information, go ahead and hit the like button, share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also, go check out my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass the CompTIA Security Plus 601 certification exam. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.